Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a banner image for a website. Banner images traditionally are thought of or kind of been coined of this idea of those web ads that you see across um, web pages, but the way I'm using the term is really just the top title area of your page. And so websites, especially instructional websites, tend to be very simple and basic. There's nothing really complex about them. And so there, this is an example of a basic left navigation where you have a banner image that kind of has the title of the course across the top, the navigation, your main content, your footer. You can imagine the same thing but with the navigation on the right. Then you can imagine one where the top navigation, but once again you still have the banner image, the same components, and then for bigger sites, you can imagine combining them. But for the most part, for most basic instructional websites, um, it, it's something really basic and you don't need to complicate things. So if you Google website banner, you'll see that there's all kinds of examples that you can find out here. But, you know, you don't have to necessarily spend any time, especially not paying for it, but even using one of these because they're pretty easy to create. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is show you how to use it using some free online tools so in this case I've gone to pixlr.com in the past I was a big fan of picnic for this but um, in April Google retired that and so you'll notice a lot of features here I'm just going to go with the editor so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new image I'm going to just call this banner and I'm going to change this to 150 for my height in this case I'm going to hit OK. And so the first thing I'm going to do is choose a color. And there's some great tools out there if you want to work on color schemes. But let's say I want to do this orange here. I'm going to then go to the paint bucket. Click there. And now I'm going to click on the text tool. And I'm going to click that for here. I'm going to change that. That looks good. I'm going to change it to bold. Make it a little bigger. And hit OK. So now if I click on the selection tool, I can drag it over. And so if I want to play with different fonts, I can even have a subtitle. So in this case, just to play with the contrast, I'm going to use Arial again, but I'm going to, in this case, just use Arial Narrow, click OK, and I'm going to change that to, we'll say, 26. And so, don't be afraid to play around. You know, my general rules are I try to use different fonts to highlight and add contrast. Um, I also try to either left or right align, and at times I might even have an image, but in this case, just to show you. We're just going to save this. That looks good. JPEG is a good format. You can also, if you're going to use transparent, you could go with the ping. And I'm going to save it to my computer and hit OK. So just like that, I created a banner image. Now I'm going to hit close this. So now I'm going to do it by opening an image from my computer, just to show you another way. And so I'm going to bring up this image. And so it's obviously not the right size. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it. And decide where do you want to crop it. Now specifically with images like this, you want to think about contrast and where can you have text if you're going to need it. And so two areas that would be easy to do it would be either down here in the grass or up in the sky. So in this case, I'm just going to do something like this. I double clicked and just like that I cropped it. So now I'm going to, you could play with using some of these different tools if you want. Right now I'm just going to be pretty basic right here and add text, but there are other ways that you could um, definitely get more creative. So in this case, because I already know that contrast might be an issue, I'm just going to go with Redonda thicker font. In this case I don't like the italicized font because that can be harder to read. So I'm gonna see if it will let me and it's not. It's being very moody right here letting me get exactly through here. There, that's what I wanted to do. 
So just like that, let's hit it hit the selection tool, I'm going to bring it over. And notice how if I have it done here, it's harder to read, but right up here in the sky, right where it's blue, it works pretty good. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. And I try to avoid capitals when I'm letters when I'm spelling my names. Okay, and just like that. So just like that, you saw me using Pixar to create a banner image with a free tool, two different ways, one with a background image, one without. Now we're going to do one last thing is we're going to jump into Dreamweaver and we're going to explore how you would actually just use it with CSS. So how would you create basically a banner image effect without actually messing around with an image? So I'm going to go with split view. I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to close this. I'm going to open a new file. In this case I'm going to use HTML5. And then within my body tag I'm going to give myself some space over here on the left and I'm going to type in header. Nav tag section footer. I don't really need all these but um, to illustrate what I want to, but you'll get the idea. So in here, in my header tag, I'm going to do an H1 close it, and then I'm going to do an H2 just to show you what a subheading would look like. Alright, so right now this doesn't look like much, but if I click on up here and I want to go to the header tag and I'm gonna go over to my CSS styles I'm gonna hit the plus now in this case I'm just gonna put this CSS rules in this document only any other time if I'm actually creating a website I would actually create an external style sheet but for this example I'm gonna redefine the tag the header tag and I'm gonna hit OK and so going through here there's a few things I want to do first thing I'm going to do is go to block display I'm going to have that go to block then I'm going to go to box and I'm just going to make this 800 pixels wide 150 high and I'm going to add padding of 10 and we'll say margin of 10 I hit OK so I can already see it starting to take shape so now I'm going to do a background image and this is going to be the background image of my banner so I'm going to do we'll do something like that we hit OK and right now that's all I'm going to do just so you can start seeing the other things should take shape and do a body redefine my body and the background color just going to add it black just to give some nice contrast and then I'm going to basically copy these styles and now for my section nav this is just to really show you real quick what a CSS kind of banner would look like so under section I'm gonna use everything but the height so basically I want it to display as block and there's some shortcut ways I could do this but this is will give you a basic idea last thing I'm going to do clean up my code and there we go so you can start seeing it take shape what I'm going to do is add a couple more styles just to so for the nav, I'm going to do a different background color. And so in this example, we'll just do a gray. And for the section, we will do a white. And I don't usually add a height for my sections because I let just the, the text itself do it. But so you can see what this would look like we will do one there alright so what we've basically done 
in a matter of seconds with HTML5 and CSS. It's created a basic site, right? The navigation go here. So now what we want to do is work on styling the banner text so it becomes more of that banner effect. So if we had a background image, we could do that right now. That's not the goal here. I th I'm wanting to do even simpler. So I'm going to click on the having fun and make sure I have H1 selected. I'm going to click on my CSS. And so in this case, I want to just redefine a tag. And if if I wanted to use H1 tag elsewhere on the page, I could always just go ahead and create an idea or class. Right now, I'm just going to um, go ahead and do it this way. I could also play with you know doing um, something like this. I do compound All right. and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the font size be 36 I'm going to have redonda I'm going to have it the font weight be bold and have it float to the right and I'm going to hit actually we're going to do one more thing with we're going to do the color white and if I scroll over I can see it doing it and if I go down here I can see this is the way it did it and what it did down here is it actually added the body as well so I'm going to get rid of that and just be less specific so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the H2 click on the plus this is going to be compound and I'm going to hit less specific document only just because for this example so here I'm going to choose my font to be Arial I'm going to choose it to float right. So let's do a couple other things here. So I'm going to do a black. I'm not going to worry about bold. So now I'm going to click on box and I'm going to click on clear right and hit apply. And you can see it go ahead and go down. So that's looking good. I'm going to hit OK. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this rather than tinkering this to death just to give you an idea. So just like that, you know, created a basic banner. I would want to work on getting this closer up here and I, there's a number of ways that I could do that. I could also work on, you know, making this pop out more and doing a few other things, but you see that how you can give a basic kind of similar banner title effect without actually getting into a graphics program if need be. So, um, hope this was helpful. Thanks.